everybody welcome to my video today I am excited to be making a card for you guys today's Monday I usually make a card and since we're starting a brand new week I wanted to feature some product uh, that I have not used yet this season and that is the hang your stocking the die and then the stamp set so this week I'm gonna do several different projects with you guys and we're gonna be using this um, stuff right here so I also am using this stamp set and I'm using the sentiment from this and then of course I'm using the new stitched dies because you guys I love them I've been using them on everything and I don't know that I'll ever get tired of them so let me go ahead and bring some pieces over here. This is quite an involved card. So what I've done is I've pre-cut everything um, with the exception of this. I'm gonna show you a tip for stamping this. But I have all of my stuff here and I just thought that would be easier um, for us to dive in and get to making the card. So I'm starting with a thick piece of cardstock. This is Whisper White. And so I want to go ahead and score this. And I'm doing this uh, card in a style that I really love, but I haven't done in quite a while, which is where the card opens from the top. All right, so we have our card base. Let's zoom in. So then I have several layers, which if you're used to making cards with me, you know that I don't usually do so many layers, but for whatever reason, I thought I would dive in and do some layers this week. So I have a cherry cobbler. Uh, this is a card front and it is just four and a quarter by five and a half. So it's going to cover the entire card. Then I have a piece of this designer paper. Now this designer paper I love and I've used a ton of it and you can see I don't have that much left of it. In fact, I, I have an order in for more and as of last week it was on back order and it should be here this week um, so they can ship it out to me. But I have just been cutting this up using a ton of it. I love the colors of it. I love the traditional, like the red and the crumb cake and the early espresso. I think it's really beautiful. So that's what this is from. And it is four and a quarter. I'm sorry, it's four by five and a quarter because we're going to layer it. Now I can do this simple layer. And what I like to do is just work on my card front before I attach everything to that card base. I like to do that at the very end. Okay, so we have this piece right here. So then I have an early espresso piece and this is cut at three by three. So it's a three by three square. Then I used my largest stitched square die. I'm gonna get you really close so you can see the stitching. How beautiful is that? And so it layers really well right on here. Again, this can just be layered. And don't worry, I'm gonna pop some stuff up using some dimensionals, but these layers right here are going to be flat. Okay, so the way this is going to look is it's gonna be somewhere up here and our sentiment is gonna be down here on the bottom. So we're gonna set this aside and we're gonna work on a few other pieces. So from this stamp set right here, banners for Christmas, I went ahead and I stamped this in early espresso. Now the Mary and the Christmas are gonna fit right in here. So what I did is I laid the, um, here, we'll do it again. I'll take these off. I think it might be this way. It is. So what I did is I laid my pieces out. It's a little hard to see because they're clear stamps, but you just lay them out like this. Then you go ahead and pick that up with your clear block. And we're gonna stamp in garden green. Hopefully I'll line this up uh, because I'm not directly over my project like I would be. So I think that's okay. And it ends up right in the banner. So I'm gonna hand cut that out. We have frameless that match that, but I'm just gonna hand cut that out. It'll be easier. We're gonna set that aside. And now let's work on our stocking. So these dies are super cute. You could use these without the stamp set. Like right here, I used this stocking and then I used this piece, this piece, and this piece to do all my other pieces. I cut it once in Cherry Cobbler and then I did cut it again in Glimmer paper. This is Daz uh, Dazzling Details Glimmer paper and this is gonna fit right in here 
at the very end. And then that way I didn't have to try to glue any glimmer paper to the back because uh, it's a little hard to get glimmer paper to stick sometimes. So you could definitely use this without the stamp, but if you do bundle these two items together, you save 10%. So that's what I always do just so I can save a little bit of money. So now to put these together, takes a few minutes. You gotta be a little patient. I'm using my fine tip glue. And what I did is I got two of these from Stampin' Up. I cleaned out one because it, the glue that you get in the fine tip is a little bit, um, it's not as thick, it's a little bit more runny. And I put my mono adhesive in here. So now my mono adhesive is in a fine tip. So now these pieces just layer right over your stock. If by chance you get glue on the outside of your layer, you can just wipe it off, it'll dry clear, okay? So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna flip our stocking over and we're gonna add some foam. flip this back over and now we can take this snowflake which is super cute and we can press that right in there and it's gonna stick now I really love the little red snowflake that came out of the middle of this I don't know what happened to it I lost it it might have fallen it fell on my floor but I kept it and I'll use it on another project so here is the stocking it has that glimmer paper on it it's a little hard to see with my lighting but you'll be able to see it in just a minute. So let's finish the stocking up. And what I'm doing is I'm taking some of this green baker's twine that comes with the gold and the red baker's twine. I'm gonna wrap this around. I wrap it around three times. take and tuck the long part sort of underneath those bells so they'll lay flat so then we have this beautiful stocking and we can finish putting together the card so now for this piece is gonna go here what I like to do is add a little bit of adhesive but we're not gonna press anything down okay so I'm just I'm laying it right on there I can still move this around alright so now I have my dimensionals on this piece that I cut and again we're just going to set it down we're not pressing anything uh, because I want to make sure the placement of all of my items work so we'll peel the back off this and then we'll do the same thing. Now we're gonna put this at a little bit of an angle like it's hanging. And then I can move this piece if I need to and this piece. And then when you get everything exactly where you want it, then you can press it down. To attach it to the card base. And you could pop this piece up if you wanted. I'm gonna go around the edge here. It's a little bit heavier because of that uh, charm that we have is our finished card. So I love the way it came out, you guys. Here it is with a different designer paper behind it. So this has the crumb cake and it's kind of like the snow falling. I would have liked to use this piece of designer paper has also a red design where the background is red and it has all of these items on it and that would have been pretty but I'm out of that piece. So I hope you guys enjoyed seeing these cards. I'm going to be back all this week. I'm going to be doing a calendar page with these little great items and then I'll be sharing with you a way to use this item in your Project Life album. So thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today and I hope you're having a great start to this week.